charges. New Mexico has a new resident who has made national news, but not for anything good. Investigators for years have suspected Elizabeth Johnson knows what happened to her baby, Gabriel. She went to prison not for murder, but on a lesser charge. She was just released, and as Action 7 News anchor Royal Day reports, the woman is now living in Albuquerque. He's a beautiful, blonde-haired, blue-eyed boy. But what happened to eight-month-old Gabriel is an Arizona mystery that now has a New Mexico tie. Last Friday, the infant's mother, Elizabeth Johnson, was released from prison. I think she's matured quite a bit uh, for this entire experience. She was um, not as mature at the beginning as she is now. She understands things a lot better. And uh, she has some, what I would call, grand plans to move forward with her life. That fresh start is in Albuquerque. Action 7 News has learned Johnson has been granted permission to live here with her grandmother. We went to the home near UNM to see if we could talk to Johnson and find out if she could explain what happened to Gabriel. No one answered. Gabriel has been missing for four years. It was a story that was broadcast across this country as people in Arizona searched for him. Johnson changed her story at that time as to what happened to the baby, first saying she killed Gabriel, then saying she gave him away to strangers. The child nor a body was ever found, and Johnson went to prison for custodial interference. She served her time and now lives in New Mexico. Uh, we did speak to some neighbors off camera on that block and asked them if they were surprised to find out what she is accused of and that she is now their neighbor. They say it is concerning to know what their new neighbor is accused of, but not enough to move. Back to you. Johnson was offered a deal if she told police where Gabriel was, but she said she didn't know. Phones are down right now across part of the Hamas Valley. Officials say the company that provides phone service for the area is experiencing an outage from San Isidro to the La Cueva area. If you need to call 911 but are unable to reach them on a landline or a cell phone, there are several places you can go. Those are the main fire station in La Cueva, the police station or EMS location on the Hamas Pueblo, and the San Isidro Marshal's office. After a shock.